is happening my android friends welcome to app of the week i appreciate you clicking in as always i'm david of course your android junkie over at androidspin.com we're going to be looking at the newly released well at least released uh, to the people who opened those wallets and uh donated to their little fundraiser we're going to be looking at minam 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 keyboard um it just got released for beta testers to try out and it's uh pretty interesting it's revolutionary of course if you guys have seen the video and uh when you first open up the settings you can do a quick setup which is awesome which i actually like that it does this you first enable it in your language and input so let's take that off put that on hit okay and then back and then we go set it as default because otherwise it'll just go to Andro the stock Android uh, keyboard. And then we can just start typing like a little learning thinner right here, a little uh, tutorial. As you can see, it says sloppy typing. Okay. So if I were to type something, as you can see, it's down here, pretty small, my little small 1S, of course. Sloppy. See, I tried to type in sloppy and it typed in Solomon. So that didn't work. But of course, I could delete right here capitalization right there it's like a shift button so it's pretty interesting pretty weird i mean it is a qwerty layout but it is still one straight line which is kind of weird to get used to and then we got the sliding actions um to do a space bar obviously if you want to do do a space woman oh bar i mean <laughs> do a coward okay we'll do that instead but anyways if you do that they all pop up, and you can do delete, you can do settings, you can do enter, just like that. Interesting stuff. And then we got precise typing, so if you were into a little section of uh, the letters right here, you can swipe up, and you can really hit the word, because sometimes, I don't see a, a learning function, you know how some keyboards learn words, like you can get them to learn words, I'm not really seeing that. Maybe I just haven't really investigated. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. If it's not, I'll add it. But yeah, you can either put your little symbols, or you can put precise lettering. Okay, so uh, then we go down a little more keyboard mode. So if you were to hold this, the shift button, you can go right to numbers. So now you can just type in numbers, which is kind of cool that it does that. And go right back. Easily done. That's pretty much it. Um, when it comes to typing, I'm not, I don't know if I can get used to it, honestly. It, it was a little weird. I felt myself like typing slower and making sure I was typing out the word and everything. It was just kind of weird. I mean, in landscape mode, I could see it a lot better, you know, it, it, it definitely better for landscape mode, and I'm sure people with tablets will like it even better, just because it seems it kept, <laughs> it seems, I'm trying to do this for the viewfinder here, to work better, sorry if you hear voices in the background, roommates are loud. So yeah, I mean, it seems to work better in landscape mode, that's for sure. So if we get out of this and go to the actual settings, you can actually have a space bar if you wanted to. Some people were wondering about the swiping of the, you can actually have that. And if you look, let's see, but yeah, so now, so, did a space bar up here. <laughs> A Fletcher did a Fletcher so yeah I mean so it's it's a little it's different it definitely is yeah you can add the space bar if you wanted to you could disable the gestures if you want to you know if you don't want those uh, those gestures on yourself you can have the vibrate of course the haptic feedback if you so please double space for a period that's kind of cool so easier to put a period and then of course you could adjust the size if you wanted to space bar height or just the overall keyboard if it if you don't think it's taking enough room or something and then yeah, you can import your Android uh, dictionary. Oh, okay, so here's the learning function that I was complaining about. So now it just learned everything that was probably, I guess, on my stock keyboard. It's it's learned now, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, I just didn't get that far, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's interesting. It's very very interesting. Let's go back into it here. Um, I don't know if I can get used to it. I mean, I could try, but but I just don't know okay i just i just don't okay but yeah so i mean that's what it's interesting you know it's it's something different and like i said landscape is pretty much 
I think it's awesome for landscape. If only I could have like a regular keyboard for um, portrait and this maybe for landscape because, you know, usually other keyboards just like take up like the whole screen. This obviously doesn't. So I, I could see for tablet users and people who really want to use it for uh, landscape, it would work pretty, pretty well. But uh, overall, I don't think I'm going to be using it as much. I mean, I might give it a try later. But uh, I think I'm just going to go back to Flexi. I kind of really just like that one. So there it is, guys. Minim keyboard. So uh, hopefully you guys are checking it out. If you guys donated, like I said, if you if you donated, you got to uh, download the beta test. And uh, if, if you did, you're going to have to wait. I think there's a sign-up page, which I might have down below in the in the balls area. So look out for that. All right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been App of the Week, Minam Keyboard. I can't, like, say it without sounding weird, but that's okay. It's a unique name. All right, guys, bye.